<laughs> this is not a creepy pasta. This is a true story. I'm not talking about this in character, okay? Were it shorter, I'd, I don't know, I'd just make a forum post, but as it is, I feel like it deserves a page of its own. A few years ago, when I was 17 or so, my grandmother still lived in the same house she'd owned since before my mother was born. She and her husband had never shown any interest in moving, and the house had been completely paid for for years. It was in a nice neighborhood brimming with the trappings of middle-class influence, where the last bad thing to happen had been a major car accident on a nearby hillside in the mid-60s. All in all, a boringly normal place for an older woman and her husband to live out their retirement in a happy miasma of suburban contentment. They'd never been much for pets. They took care of my aunt's dog for a week once, I think, but beyond that I don't recall my grandmother ever even considering owning a pet. Then, one day... When my entire family had been bundled and prodded into the car for the three-hour drive to visit, we found that they had, at some point, acquired a, uh... Well... A cat. There's a reason for my hesitation. The first time we encountered the cat was in the middle of a family dinner. Now, dinner with my family is a boisterous affair, with much passing of food and chattering and good-natured ribbing and usually a tantrum from at least one cousin. And this occasion was no different. But, midway through the meal, we all stopped. As one, we grew quiet and turned to face the still-empty doorway. We could all somehow tell something was coming. My idiot little cousin actually dropped his fork with a resounding clang, but no one turned around. And the cat stalked in. It never blinked. Ever, that I'm aware of. It just stared, slowly moving its gaze from side to side like some strange ritual, but never seeming to so much look at anything as to scan it. Then, it opened its mouth... Wide, wider than I'd ever seen any animal open a mouth, and sat there in silence. After a few moments, a sound came rising from nowhere in particular, a harsh shrieking beep like a microphone slowly moving closer to a speaker. Feedback? Tinged with silence. It's hard to explain. Then its mouth slid closed again, and it wandered out. Dinner resumed. No one mentioned the cat that night. The next morning, when we had all risen and dressed and fought over bathrooms and generally lost ourselves in tumultuous preparation for our various drives home, I sat in the kitchen with a plate of stolen leftovers and asked my grandmother about the cat. She told me that it had just shown up one morning, waking her up with this strange, harsh feedback, not meow, thing. She'd taken it outside, and her husband searched the whole house for holes and cracks and gaps it could have come in through. But, uh, they found nothing. Every morning, the same routine. Eventually, they even resorted to replacing the grates on the ventilation shafts in a fruitless attempt to keep it out. It always reappeared, stalking into rooms and scanning them with its weird red gaze, then beeping like a broken amplifier and stalking out to vanish again. They never fed it, and as far as I know, it never ate. But for those times, it swished into rooms to look around. It split the air with its noise. It was nowhere to be found at all. My grandmother moved. The entire family was angry about it, and still is. She and her husband just 
packed up and left that house and all its memories behind for a small bungalow in a less classy neighborhood. They refused to say why. <sighs> I'm sorry, this story is too long. I know I should cut it short, but I really need to talk about this. I've wanted to for a long time. And I want to be sure I'm not leaving anything important out. But to make a long story short, the cat appeared in their new house as well, repeating the same bizarre behaviors as it had before, but this time? Its sound took on a harsher, buzzing quality, with the single tone beat slightly fainter among the static-like hiss. They put up with it long enough to complete building a new house, then they left it behind. So far, it hasn't been back. Recently, in a phone call with my girlfriend, I brought up the subject of the cat, and how strange it had been, and realized something that worries me. She asked me to describe it. I can remember the pure white of its... Um... Fur? I... I think it had fur. And the deep, angry red of its eyes, but... Beyond that, I don't, I don't think it had a tail at all, and the strange wide mouth I remember was like nothing I had seen on a cat before. In my mental images, there's no teeth, just this gaping pink maw, and that strange stalking walk, cat's knees, they don't do that. They... really, they don't. It... Uh, in fact, the only thing remotely cat-like about it is the fact ingrained into my consciousness. That every time I, or anyone else, looked at it, the hair on the backs of our necks rose and our minds said loudly, CAT. There's a theory that nothing we see is real and that the entirety of our consciousness exists solely as a way of protecting ourselves from the realization of what's really there. <sighs> but anyway, I just... I just needed to get that out.